and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at the Bosses Plus add-on from the Minecraft Marketplace. So I've done a, a little bit of work uh, before recording this. Uh, so I've got myself Unenchanted Iron, Fully Enchanted Iron, Unenchanted Diamond and Fully Enchanted Diamond uh, with a shield and two tokens of Undying and a sword and a death. Uh, and an unenchanted iron sword, enchanted iron sword, un unenchanted diamond, and enchanted diamond sword. Gonna be started with starting with the unenchanted iron stuff first. Then uh, with the shield, and then if it if I die in this, and I'm gonna move on to the uh, enchanted iron, then unenchanted diamond with a totem, and then enchanted diamond with a totem. Hey, oh, I it. Oh, I'm, I have a. I just want to check. Oh, yeah, you can. Neat. Ah, uh, you might do that. Somewhere. Anyway, so uh, when I started this world, well, not started the world, but loaded the world up with the add-on, it gave me a silk touch gold pickaxe for some reason, and I have no idea why. I'm just going to put that back in there, and unless we need it. This is a book about the Bosses Plus add-on by uh, Shaperscaper. Here you will uh, find everything you need to know. If you have any uh, questions or want to uh, chat about the add-on, join our Discord at www.shapescape.com forward slash bossSDC. Uh, prologue. Prepare to face four new bosses, each guarding their own powerful secret. From icy uh, combats uh, to uh, spectral realms, the uh, stage is set uh, for epic uh, quests and uh, the daring exploits. Defeating uh, them uh, not only tests your skill, but also rewards you with tools to aid you in your in your survival world. So gather your courage, reload your weapons, uh, and let the adventure begin. The Yeti, a colossal warrior ruling over its uh, glacial territory, born of the uh, coldest winds and the deepest snows, it embodies the untamed power of the winter wilderness. When its uh, health is low, it devours its uh, club uh, to uh, regenerate, unleashing a fierce rage. Thanks, Club Plush. Yeti uh, attacks uh, damaging uh, closest enemies. Frost Boulder. Boulder from far reach, the Yeti hills and ice boulder where you glacial rampage, the Yeti walls charging forward and the damages uh, everything nearby. Summoning mechanic, the, you spawn the Yeti by placing the uh, blocks vertically following the uh, blueprint uh, to the next page. You can spawn the, the boss anywhere in the overworld, the nether and end dimension. So you need a carved pumpkin and the uh, four pack ties. So, I believe this one's packed ice. One, two, three, four. I'm in creative. Game zero. Four packed ice and a carved pumpkin. That's just a pumpkin. That's been sheared. There should be a pair of shears somewhere around here. Yes, there is. Bam. And they can go there. So let's go fight the the Yeti. Oh. So over here, I have yet to clean up from pre some previous uh, reviews. Let's place down the uh, pack ties. Hold on, let me just do game rule keep inventory true. Hold on, so let me just give that key. Uh, S N. Hold on. Uh, 
Yep, I myself one of these. Get into settings. And death rate points off because they mess with keep inventory. Okay, that did half a heart of damage to me straight away. Oh! And that one shot. And yeah. Oh, I'm going to go to game mode 1. Okay. Let's try with Enchanted Iron. That's an enchanted sword, enchanted chest plate. And very much like that shield. Ow. Okay. This isn't very shield friendly. Um, doing it with honestly I could have probably done it with unenchanted iron if I just used the shield a bit more. Oh and he knocked that. Oh Okay. That's the Yeti down, and you get the Yeti head. And you can wear the Yeti head, which is really cool. Hold on, does that provide armor? It does, it provides two and a half bars of armor. Which is better than diamond. Neat. Can it be, hold on, let me go check if it can be enchanted. And then we'll get... Oh, also got the Yeti's Meat Club, which is plus 5 attack damage. We'll also check if that can be enchanted as well. My inventory is a mess. I'm going to need to go to key mode 1. You down here. So let's grab a book. So Yeti Head cannot be enchanted. And the Yeti Meat Club can also not be enchanted. But with it being better protection than diamond armor, that's pretty good, especially if you uh, manage to kill him with uh, some diamond, uh, some iron armor. Well, like I said, I could have probably killed him with iron armor if I just used my shield a bit more. Um, how much durability does a shield have left? Oh, it's on full durability. Neat. Probably because it dropped XP or something. But let's move on. The, oh, I should probably go back to the here because somewhere. Oh, where's my controller? Oh, come on. Give XP on my remote. Essentials remote. Weather clear. Uh, 
Right, so, uh, let me put these two in here. So, let's move on to the next boss. He also says here, Meat Club, dropped by the Yeti boss. This item says uh, two pips, so you can either fully fill up your hunger bar by taking a uh, bite at any time or use it as a weapon to smash your enemies at it in any fight. Repair it with that, and that's a bit of an... Right, now, so... It doesn't do as much damage as a diamond sword, and you have to repair it with diamonds. Now, I think it would be worth it if, instead of uh, repairing it with diamonds, you could just repair it with some, like... Just by like surrounding it with like eight raw meat of any kind. Uh, either place it as a decoration or wear it as a helmet to, to look like the Yeti boss. Next up is the Piglin Warchief, a fearsome creature born in fire and lava, proudly wearing an ancient armor. It regens over, reigns over the Never. And with a huge sword and a, and wielding a box of a nearly infinite torches, it challenges you to claim victory. It has a melee sword slash in close uh, sla in a close slash the uh, piglin strikes precisely. Torch blow. The piglin wields a torch to breathe fire, damaging those nearby. Blaze bear, smashing its torch in the the uh, piglin sparks a fiery ring. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, down, down. I'm probably going to get copyright claimed over that. Uh, spawning mechanics. You spawn the piglin uh, uh, bars by placing the blocks in the blueprint next to it. So it's a card, pumpkin, and red never bricks. I don't believe I have any red never bricks. So... I'm going to give that P red never break for I think all these are going to require card carved pumpkins which honestly I don't mind because it's uh, better than just going like just like with the uh, mutant mob uh, more bad on where you're just wandering around the world and suddenly there's a mutant uh creeper blowing everything up or a mutant zombie blowing everything up or a mutant skeleton shooting you to death so let's go over here and we'll also i do appreciate that at least so far none of them ha uh, there's been no mob griefing It would be nice if they didn't do damage to me as soon as they spawned in. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. I reacted a bit too slowly to the sword strike. Eat, please. Ah, God damn, I was trying to eat, but it wouldn't let me eat for some reason. Also, why? Hold on. I'm only gonna need to get you to give me one to turn on, probably. Because it's. Why isn't it letting me sleep? I've... It's very laggy. I've probably just my well being a bit laggy. Game mode one. Remote. Admin remote. Deep inventories has been enabled. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm attacking the diamond sword. Oh wait, this is the enchanted one. There we go. I can just give you a few steps. Oh, and then... Yep. Yeah, he's getting damaged by his own attack. 
Be... Oh. Ah, that was a new attack. Oh. There we go. Oh. There you go, he's dead. So we've got the uh, the uh, Piglin War Chief head, so uh, Yeah, it's it's the same as the uh, Yeti head, pretty cool. I mean it should be more protective because it uh, um well, it is very hard to get the red never break than it is to get the uh the whatchamacallit, the pack ties. Oh, it places soul torches. And you put them back in. Yeah. So let's see what the book has to say about it. So, Piglin Torch Box, drawn by the Piglin Boss. This item allows you to place a huge amount of soul torches in your world. But why is it that again diamonds? Like why do why not just repair it with uh, some like with like eight soul torches? Finally, so with eight soul torches, Piglin Head uses head to either place it as Decoration will wear as a helmet, makes it look like the boss. Next up is the Kristen Golem, a formidable figure made of stone and ad adorn adorned with glowing crystals, ready to unleash its power upon challenges. Beware of the stone uh, first that it came from. It's what ca Beware of the stone first that it can form from its rocks. Uh, melee punches the golem hits the uh, player close, uh, uh, closely multiple times. Stone cyclone deals damage all around the golem. Crystal laser beyond the player's reach. The golem starts shooting a strong crystal laser. Uh, amethyst blocks carved pumpkin. Where's my carved pumpkins I made? Oh, there they are. I believe I have amethyst blocks around here somewhere, or at least amethyst crystals. Oh, right, I don't have my flying armor. On. We. Ah, yes, here we are. One, two, three, four. Let's go over here. Um, could you stop hitting me every time you get something? Okay, so that's the like multi hit attack I was talking about. Yeah, wait, oh. Oh, what? The shield did not like that attack. Oh. And this. Does this. Oh! My shield broke. Uh. Does this thing ever stop attacking? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to shoot it from long range because I have no hope. Oh no! I have no hope of just like not dying to it at short range because it destroyed my shield. Oh, it's going for the laser again. Laser. Uh. Oh, I 
time the laser destroys the environment, because of course it does. Ow. I should have took damage there. Where's my food? There it is. Yeah, running away. Ow, ow. Running away. How is this? Oh, I killed the bunny. <laughs> damage which is annoying. I have complained about this multiple times in multiple reviews about uh, uh, hostile mobs doing damage to the environment. Yeah, not cool. But well, we got the crystal, crystal golem head. Yeah, same protection as the last two. I, like, I prefer this one though, this one's cool. And we have the amethyst golem laser. Let me guess, this does damage to the environment. Yep. Yeah. I guess it also does damage to mobs. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's not super destructive, so it's not the worst weapon ever. But just wouldn't recommend using it in your base. Yeah. You can also use it just for mining. Uh, it'd be decent, decent for mining. Let's uh, hold on. Let's go down to deep sea layer and see. Oh, it destroyed one of my furnaces. A couple of my furnaces. That's oh, and it destroyed. Oh, oh, I know there it is. Uh, I beat it without to four iron armor. So if we keep going down here. Yeah, this place is already a mess. Let's go over here. So yeah, it does insta well not insta mine. Yeah, it does break. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, how does it interact with balls? Yeah, it, it acts as like a regular pickaxe. An unenchanted pickaxe for ores. I'm willing to bet you can't enchant these. This, because I couldn't enchant the other two. I mean, being able to enchant these would be cool. Especially, uh, so you wouldn't have to pay like an entire diamond uh, to repair them. 
Yep. There you go, please. There we go. So I'm just gonna dump those two in there, and then all the random other stuff I don't want. Um, that's one. Yeah, instant damage two. There we go. And then I want to go back into survival so we can do this last boss. Uh, oh yeah, and let's just take a look at this. Uh, oh no, that's Piglin War Chief. Right. Oh, so yeah, someone in Mechanic, in a Crystal Golem. Someone in uh, Crystal Laser. Uh, boss, it can be used to mine blocks or just grill your enemies. Repair it with diamonds. I think that instead of repairing it with that, that with diamonds, you should be able to, uh, well, not just men, but you sh it should be repaired with... Uh, Amethyst crystals, because it's clearly like based on like it's from like you get from the amethyst crystal like golem guy, so you should repair with amethyst crystals. Uh, golem head, yeah, it's the same as the other. Next up is the Phantom Queen, a massive serpent in the beauty with dark magic, protected by big obsidian scales, is awaiting you in the shadows. Its green eyes will haunt you in your dreams and beyond those. Attack Serpent's Fang, it uh. Oh, I've got to get myself a chill. I'll get myself a minute. It uh, depletes your health with each bite. Shadow dive. It uh, flies, uh, dashes into the uh, ground, and it uh, deals magic damage around it. Uh, shadow wave. A phantom queen summons a uh, damaging shadow wave from above. Car pumpkin and blocks of obsidian. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'm just going to go into game mode 1 again and get myself a shield and we enchant it. E. Shut it. Yeah. I'm going to bother playing another flag on it because it takes too long and I want to. I just want to get to the boss fight. Should have probably made multiple copies of the flag. Yeah, well. Yeah, let's get uh, back over here. Not like it's going to get much more destroyed. Non golden carrot. Boom. Well, this is anticlimactic. Oh, there she goes. Okay, she is doing damage to the shield. Yeah. Okay, that was just a one-hit thing. Oh. She's doing that now. Yep. God damn it. She's coming from above. I'm just gonna numb on this. And we're back to this. Why 
aja kan. There we go, I win. Yeah, so none of them were particularly difficult. So we got the uh, Phantom Queen head, which looks like that. This kind of looks a bit silly. And the Phantom Wand. Due to a puff of smoke, this doesn't look very powerful. Yep! Yeah. Okay. That's kind of cool. I do like that. Basically, if you hit something with it, it'll summon her and she'll do AoE. That is cool. But it also damages you, so it's, you know, that makes it a bit more balanced. So, yeah! That was fun. But uh, yeah, you can basically, if you have a shield, you can basically kill all of them with just like regular iron armor. I probably didn't even need to enchant a dying armor. I could have probably just done it with regular. So. Uh, just, you know, make sure you seal at the right times. Mind you, it would have been harder in the iron, regular, unenchanted iron armor because it would, I think is like, some of them would have just one shot you in regular iron. But this would have been impossible. You just have to make sure you shield at the right times. Uh, except with the uh, crystal golem thing, that one you would have just would just demolish your armor. So yeah. So just for a bit of fun, I'm gonna kill all of them with like my manuelian cleaver and like my full OP astral suit. Um. I'm also... Oh, I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna use the summon command. So... Well, the Yeti. Let's do the Yeti first. Summon Yet. Yeti boss. Oh my god, hit me with everything you got. Because the warden can't even kill me in this. Um, okay, so it does have a hard so you can just one-shot him. He does have to eat that first, then you can finish him off. What was after the Yeti? It was... Piglin Warchief. Pig. Piglin boss. Oh, well, you can't do damage to me. Stab. Stab. Dead. And then after the Piglin War Chief, it was. Go the Golem boss. Okay, so you can actually do damage to mobs that aren't me. Just like normal attacks. Will you go away? Okay, time for you to die. Ow, oh, stop hitting me back. You're dead. And then there's the Phantom Queen. Then Tom Boss, and she's dead. Yeah, this. Uh, so yeah, they can't really stand up to anything better than diamond. And they also have like strength and like. On a plus 27 attack damage sword. 
so they will never even stand a chance against this. But yeah, so they're cool bosses. Um, I would just prefer it. Preferred if there was some like more late game bosses that gave you that I like, would give you uh, trouble even in like full diamond, fully enchanted diamond armor. Because Minecraft does lack like, end game things to do like post like end the dragon and stuff. So I like, have a like boss that could give you trouble in like fully enchanted diamond gear would be cool. And then you know, uh, the drops would like be better than diamond. And then like obvious. And then you could like. Scale up, but like, yeah, like you also have like Hydra bosses, so there are some cool boss add ons uh, on the marketplace. But yeah, I hope you guys all do. And also, the heads are cool, I do like the heads. Uh, more heads is always good. Like, there's two things I want to more of in an add on, uh, there will always one more in an add on, of in an add on, and that is um. More mob heads and more um, music discs. Like if I, I don't, I'm never going to complain if an add-on adds uh, more of those two things, as long as I don't get copyright claims for showing off the music discs. If that happens, then I get upset because it's a pain in the butt. Like seriously. Anyway, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Uh, there's a Discord link down in the description. If you join that, you can join the uh, Discord members as well. Where it's got a bunch of add-ons on it. And... <sighs> anyway. And yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy and bye-bye.